The patient is a 45-year-old woman with an adrenocortical cancer found superior to the right kidney. The tumor encroached the retrohepatic vena cava, invading the caval lumen and rising to a point just below the left and middle hepatic vein confluence. Note that the patient has a replaced left hepatic artery and a right hepatic artery that originates from the superior mesenteric artery. The surgical plan involves splitting the liver starting from the groove between the right and middle hepatic veins. The caudate lobe will remain on the vena cava. In order to remove the liver and rebuild the cava in a bloodless field, we planned an in situ cold perfusion of the liver. A cannula will be inserted into the main portal vein and a clamp placed on its proximal end. A ramel tourniquet will be placed around the bile duct complex thereby controlling the significant inflow that runs in the biliary plate. The replaced left hepatic artery will be controlled with a bulldog clamp. The infrahepatic vena cava will be clamped, followed by the suprahepatic vena cava. Ice cold preservation solution will then be perfused through the cannula and sterile ice placed on the remnant liver to minimize ischemic damage. With the caudate lobe pushed inferiorly, the vena cava will be cut just below the insertion of the hepatic veins and the tumor thrombus is pulled inferiorly from the lumen. The vena cava is then divided above the left renal vein and reconstructed using a ringed PTFE graft. 